This video was sponsored by AG1. What's up guys? Salut, this is Alex. This is my hotel room, okay? I'm still in Chicago, still in the US. And I am right now getting ready for tonight's pop-up restaurant. I'm supposed to turn myself tonight into a ramen chef. Which is absolutely insane. So in the previous episode, I traveled to Chicago to meet Mike Satinover, as known as Ramen Lord. Passionate home cook turned professional ramen chef and fountain of knowledge for all things ramen. Why did I come here? Well, Mike challenged me to come and host a pop-up with him. By the way, a pop-up that we sold out in just 40 seconds. Everyone wants to see you and me make ramen. To 300 people. Are you nervous about that? Yes, very much. Sure so yesterday we made 300 portions of ramen noodles on an industrial noodle machine that is, by the way, sitting in Mike's living room. I know, it's bonkers, right? But in all honesty, the hardest part is still to come. Today we have to prep, cook, assemble and serve 300 bowls of ramen. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with this? We open the doors in four hours. Why don't we go to the restaurant and uh, we help Mike doing the prep? Huh? That would be a nice thing to do. All right, so uh, this is where the pop-up restaurant is gonna happen tonight. Perilla Korean American Fair. All right, let's get inside. Let's get preparation done. Hello there. Hey, come on in. Got it. What's up, man? Good. Great, how are you? Good, very yeah, nice. So these gentlemen are Andy and Thomas. Together they run Perilla, a beautiful Korean-American restaurant. Now, not only are these guys hosting the pop-up tonight, but they also provide us with an entire squad of people helping with prep, with cooking, and obviously with the service. Thank you for having us tonight. Of course, man, it's a pleasure. Um, we've become friends with Mike, uh, Ramen Lord. So it is awesome, man. This is a pleasure for us to have both of you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the dining room behind me. In a few hours, everything's gonna be ready and this is gonna be packed. In fact, this is gonna be packed several times because we are expecting 300 people tonight. 300 people. And here is, wow, everybody's at work, look at this. How are you, Mike? Good, I'm ready, I'm excited. Good. Trying to get all these scallions sliced. There is some serious speed going on right here. Huh? Are we competing right now? Because I'll, I'll Well, you, you are losing if you're competing. I know. <laughs> Let me just tell you what it is that we are serving tonight. There are two bowls on the menu. Both of them are based on a thick and creamy broth. In Japanese it's called paitan, a bit like tonkotsu. But this one is made from beef bones, where tonkotsu is made with pork. 110 liters. Wow. Yeah. You think that's gonna be enough for tonight? I f***ing hope so, man. Both bowls come with thick and wavy Sapporo-style noodles that we made fresh yesterday. And also both have this ginormous beef rib. Now the differences between these bowls are that the first one is a spicy Korean inspired ramen with chili oil and a simple salt based seasoning called chiyo tare. But the second one is a French infused ramen with a miso seasoning called miso tare. Now what is it that makes it French I hear you say? Well Okay, and now a few words from our sponsor, AG1. So for the past six months, every morning on an empty stomach, I have been drinking AG1. AG1 has no GMOs, no herbicides, no pesticides, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or even sweetener. One scoop or one travel pack of AG1 plus eight ounces of water every day, that's it. This effortless daily habit just helps me focus more and it gets me important, hard to find ingredients and a high level of antioxidant that support my immunity. The boost in energy I've been feeling is sustained throughout the day. It doesn't hit like a caffeine shot, like not at all. If you want to give it a try, go to athleticgreens.com slash Alex to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first Purchase. Thanks AG1 for sponsoring this video. 
Now, what is it that makes it French, I hear you say? Well, or missing an aroma oil. I mean, I mean, fat, there is one fat that I incorporate in almost all my bowls of ramen. Butter. <laughs> now you're thinking, what, I've got, what have I got myself into? But uh, it's just No, like, it's an interesting idea. So, for example, if you just clarify butter and you add a few flavors in it, caramelized onions, this is very French. Let's do yeah. like a caramelized onion clarified butter oil. That's, that You're works just, for me. Oh, I'm amazing. Oh, man, I would love that. Right, I don't have much time. I better get busy making this caramelized onion uh, aroma butter. Initially, I wanted to make clarified butter, but instead, I'm gonna make some brown butter. This is gonna work much better with the enormous beef rib. It's just very unusual for me to be working with these crazy proportions. Okay, now I just need to combine the caramelized onions and the brown butter, and then I need to blend this a little to create a nutty aroma butter with small pieces of caramelized onion in it. So at the moment, we're just doing tiny little adjustment before final service. Okay, here you go. Wow, that's good. The onions. I'm gonna try this one with the spice. Right. Mmm, nice as well. Different. It's more soft. Andy, can you try? The flavor's good, but I would like more soft. What do you think? Uh, Matt, slightly, slightly. <laughs> We are literally one minute before service. One minute. I can see folks waiting outside. This is the perfect experience to step my ramen game up. Up, up and away. We're live. We're live. All right, boys. First two. One of each. One spicy, one miso. Yeah. One each. First ticket of the night. A few more to go, right? Just a couple, <laughs> okay, a couple, couple more to hundred go. more to go, yeah. So the way it works here is a bit like a production line. Each person has their own responsibility. I started off on assembling the bowls. Someone would bring me the bowls with the seasoning tare and the broth. For the miso, we had to whisk the tare to make sure it was incorporated because it's kind of solid rather than liquid. Whilst this is happening, someone's cooking the noodles and bringing them over. Then I would have to do the noodle fold so that the toppings wouldn't sink to the bottom of the bowl. Then someone on the meat station will bring the beef ribs. Then I would place some bean sprouts and spring onions on each bowl, then sesame seeds for the miso and garlic chips for the spicy, and finally the aroma butter needs to be added for the French inspired bowl. Uh, spicy aroma oil will be added to the Korean inspired bowl, but this is done at the table by the waitstaff. And that is the first two bowls done. <clears throat> Only 298 left to go. There you go, sir. Let's go. Wow. Enjoy, guys. All right. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Serving my own bowl of ramen is very exciting. It almost feels like an accomplishment, but I feel like it's a little too early to celebrate. Fire one more of each. That's two and two all day. Two and two all day. I should have uh, six more working. Yes, six yeah. more working. Thank you, chef. Six in the pot. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Next up is one and one. Yep, spicy here and miso there. Fire four, please. Two of each. Four, four, two of each. And go right down. Spicy. Yeah. Yes, please. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel it. The line cooks, it's like it's not affecting them. It's probably something that you develop over time. You just 
very careful with the energy you're spending. The noob that I am, I'm all in on every ball. So I managed to change station. At first I was on garnishes and then I moved to handling the meat. I thought it was going to be easy. It's not, but it's still very fun. I, I feel like these guys, I never have to ask anything to anybody. Like I turn around, the container that was almost empty is now full. Everybody's here for the flow. Ego is out of the way. It's pretty chill here. Huh? Chicago, I guess, right? Okay, so I've been cooking for a few hours now and as much as I love to be in the kitchen, I don't want to hide in it. I feel like now is the time to face the feedback, whatever it is. It's terrifying, but I have to do this. Can you allow me to, to ask you a few questions? Yes. How was it? It was great. It was great. It was so good. The butter? The butter? Did you like the butter? Hey, hello. Hey man, how are you? Derek. Uh, Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you enjoy? Did you have your food already? Yeah, each. it was incredible. We got one of each. Part the noodles, the noodles are my favorite part. I think the yeah, the spicy one was really good, but I think our favorite was the the butter the beef butter one. Butter. Usually, yeah. I feel like when you try butter flavored things or things that have a lot of butter in it, it gets too heavy. But this was like when you're when you're drinking the broth, it coats your mouth, but it, it dissipates quickly, which is nice. It was delicious. I I really like the spicy thing. We're Mexican, so we yeah. really like the spiciness, ah. of course. <laughs> How was the boat? It was so good. Which one you had? I had the butter miso. It was very buttery. How was it? So good. It was wonderful. Good? We're, we're I'm not about sure it. if I liked the broth or the noodles better, but amazing. Yeah. It was <laughs> So you were telling me something very interesting. Yes. So you started a... A baking business. Because of whom? Because of you. Oh no! Yeah! I followed your entire journey. The really weird croissants at the beginning. And then making your great croissant at the end. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, enchanté. As we're approaching the end of service, I do feel some relief, honestly, but I also surprisingly feel a bit of sadness because I don't want this to stop. Last ticket, gentlemen! That's it. This is it. The last two bolts of the night. <sighs> that was a ramen storm. So many bolts. My, my hands are numb almost. My feet too, by the way. I know I should be put off by ramen right now, considering how many I made tonight, but the truth is... I want to enjoy a bowl of ramen. Is that fair? Wow, thank you so much. Alright guys, this is it. This is the moment. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Yeah. I'm not getting emotional, but on the brim. Still is a pretty weird idea for me to fly to another country and, and just host a pop-up restaurant. It's very nice when things get quieter, because it's like chaos for the whole night. And then I'm having a little bowl of ramen. It's almost like a me, me time now. That's a solid bowl of ramen. Still eating? Am I, am I able to join you? <laughs> anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure to be working with you, and thank Likewise. you so much for this, man. Likewise, really incredible. That's great, and it's so humbling to see the amount of work that goes into a bowl like this. I think that that, if anything, I hope that you can convey that to people, which is like this dish takes a lot. This one was twenty-four dollars, right? Or twenty-five. Easy. I, I spend yeah. this easy with the amount of work and the quality of the ingredients and, and like everything is made from scratch. Everything's from scratch. No oh. shortcuts. I've paid, I don't know, way more for way less. Way worse, yeah. What a night it's been, guys. What a night. It's crazy to see like the, the kitchen empty now. It was so busy a moment ago and now it's all empty. Cool. Just waiting for my Uber now. My shift is over. I've cooked enough ramen for the night. I've learned a ton. In a restaurant setup, consistency beats perfection. Yes, you need good food, but you need good food for each and every customer. You can't have just spectacular food for this one and average food for this guy. I've also learned that teamwork 
mix from better ramen, which is not something I've ever considered because I always cook by myself. You rely on the other line cooks and they rely on you. If one person messes up, the whole chain fails. I mean, yes, it does put a little stress on my shoulders, but it's also a relief to know that these guys have my back too. It's a teamwork. It's been a pleasure to share this with you. <laughs> this crazy slash stupid slash unexpected adventure. We catch up in the next one. Bye bye. Salut.